Okay, so once again, we're here at the uh, at Tabitha Milton Rush's uh, Candlelight Vigil. I'm uh, here with uh, uh, Mr. Keith Dow, and uh, he is a lifelong uh, resident of the 21st Ward in Redbud, which is where we all kind of, you know, uh, uh, grew up and where he uh, kind of like first met Tabitha, I believe. And so once again, here's uh, Mr. Dow. How you doing, Mr. Dow? Fine, fine, Tony. So uh, once again, what's your name? And uh, and so, uh, how did you know Tabitha? Well, I knew Tabitha through Darryl, her husband, Darrell Rush. Uh huh. Uh, also through my wife. She worked with my wife, Linda Dow, at Bowen's Hospital for a while. Okay. Uh, I had business dealings with Tabitha through Big Rounds Maintenance, Heating and Cooling Services. We uh, serviced her heating and cooling needs at her daycare centers. Uh, Tabitha was a very, very, very likable young lady. And uh, it seems like I've been knowing Tabitha almost 30 years. Okay. And uh, she's a very, very special young lady. And <clears throat> she will truly be missed. As far as, far as from, uh, from your understanding and, and, uh, and what you've uh, heard from, about the investigation, exactly what happened to Tabitha? Well, <clears throat> from, from, from my recollection of what happened was a, a disgruntled boyfriend or associate uh, just killed her. You know, murdered her. You know, shot her in the head. Do Do you have uh, uh any any uh you know anything about the guy or? No, he um at one time he lived across the street in the 4200 of Red, but uh, never knew him. Strange guy. You know, never got to know him. Real strange guy, huh? Yeah. Night night crawler. Right. And so, if there was anything that you could say to uh to the Milton and Rush Rush families, uh, what would you say to them? 4,200 block of red buds, parts are torn apart, just like you all are. And we hope and pray that everybody will survive and, and be strong from this. And Tabitha was really loved, and we will all miss her. I see. Well, thanks so much for you know speaking with me tonight. 